Hello and welcome to this week's Excel tutorial. And this week we're going to look at the shortcut in Excel. It's the Alt and Down arrow. And if you think you know what it does, stick around till the end of the video because there will be a bonus trick, which I'm not sure you're aware of, but it's brilliant. And let's start with a simple thing. So Alt and Down arrow, what does it actually do? Well, what it does is Whenever you have a drop down list in Excel, now a drop down list can take many forms. Like you can have a filter drop down list, you can have a total row at the bottom of your table, and that is a drop down list. Or you could actually have a drop down list created as a data validation rule where you create a list either from cells or by simply inputting different inputs and dividing them by semicolon. Now, what Alt and Down Arrow does is it lets you activate the dropdown. Now you know that I'm all about keyboard shortcuts. I usually don't use the mouse that much. If my hands are on the keyboard, I want to be able to do it with a keyboard. And having said that, it's great that you can. So if I want to activate the filter now, all I press is Alt and Down Arrow and there it is. So that's the filter activated and if I want to activate the total row right here alt down arrow there it is and now I can pick a different uh, function to be calculated and it's the same right here so if I have a drop down in a cell it's if it's a data validation drop down I can activate it by alt down arrow up to here you know nothing specific so now we know that I can use the alt and down arrow to activate the drop down menus that are pre-existing right like filters like total rows like data validation but what if I want to help myself inputting data and what I mean specifically is if I already have some data in a let's say in a column right so in column H I have all this and now I want to input John again. Now, you know that this works, right? If I just start writing something that is already present in this column, it's going to help me, right? It's going to help me and I can just press enter and there it is, right? I don't even need to continue to, to write it all the way through. But what about if I have something like this? So if I have a bunch of inputs that are basically the same almost all the way through and then just differentiate at the at the last few letters. Now how do I help myself here? Well if I start writing this it's not going to help me any. But when I started writing here, right? Uh, like when I if I start with the P, why does it offer Paul? Well because it's unique. At this point there is only one input already in this column that starts with a P. So it's going to say, I think this is what you want. And an important thing to note here is, oh, so when I'm writing, it's already aware of everything in this column. It's just checking if now what I'm writing is unique. But now check this out. If I'm writing over here, I would need to write the almost the whole thing before it would offer me anything, right? And, and even if that was true, um, it's not, that's not even true because I would have to write it all the way through and then I would already have the entire thing. So I would no longer need the auto completion here, but check this out. If I press alt and down arrow here, what I get is a drop down list of all the unique listings within this column. And let me just show you this in a better way. Let me try and make this a bit wider. So I'll just make this column a little wider. I'm not letting it drop the logo. There it is. And I'll go over here. I'll press Alt and down arrow and there it is. So even when a drop down list is not present, the Alt down arrow combination creates a drop down list from all the unique items within the column. Now isn't that brilliant? So have fun with this and I'll see you on the next one.